Hey guys, um, I know I'm probably gonna sound like a health nut, but I'm not, I swear to God. I'm just gonna make another getting healthy video here for you today. Um, I've kind of turned into a little bit of a research junkie, so these are just a few more things that I have found in my research that might help some people out who are either struggling to lose weight or don't quite understand or anything like that. Um, so here we go. Alright, so the first thing anyone who's trying to get healthier needs to understand is that everybody's body is different. So what works for one person might not work for another person over here. And there are a lot of factors that go into being healthy as well that people don't think of. I mean, hormones, stress, lifestyle, genetics, all this other stuff can also be incorporated into why you're not losing weight in your lifestyle. Um, so just keep in mind that if you're trying everything and nothing seems to be working, it might be time to seek some attention from a professional, not from YouTube videos like you know we all try to do, because why spend the money? It's all out there on the internet. But just keep this in mind, and also keep in mind that it is about how you feel, not how anybody tells you you feel or how you look or, excuse me, anything like that. It is all about you. If you are feeling better and feel good and feel healthy, then that is what matters, not what Dickhead Joe over here wants to say about your weight. Um, also keep in mind that the scale is not always your friend. Um, inches means a lot more than pounds. So if you are feeling better and slimming down but you're not losing weight, that is okay too. So keep this all in mind when we're going through this stuff and remember, as long as you're happy with yourself, you are gorgeous and your personality has a lot to do with that. So, you know, with that being said, now to the facts. Let's okay, so I know you've probably heard this a million times and I'm going to say it again, water. Water is one of the biggest things when you're trying to get healthier or lose weight. Um, here's a fun fact though, if you are dehydrated, even the slightest bit or not drinking the amount of water that you should be, your body will retain it. So you're actually carrying more water weight. So it's like when you're on a diet and you're starving yourself, your body will actually absorb the food because it thinks there's a shortage. It does the same thing with water. So actually, the more water you drink on a regular basis, the less water your body is going to hold into it because it realizes there's not a shortage. So it's going to get rid of all that extra water because it says, I don't need to store it. I'm getting plenty. And it's going to get it out of there. So. Remember, if you're worried about drinking too much water because you'll gain water weight, you're wrong. You, the more you drink, the better it is because your body's going to get rid of all that extra because it knows it's not a shortage anymore. Um, another fun fact on the water subject, I don't know how true this is, so keep in mind this is just stuff that I've found and found is interesting, but it makes sense. Um, you actually burn more calories when you digest food water because it takes more to warm it up to your body temperature. Again, not quite sure how credible this is, but it makes sense, doesn't it? So you're actually burning a little bit more just digesting that ice water than you are room temperature water or something like that. Not that anyone really likes to drink warm water, but I just thought that was a fun little fact there. Um, Again, don't know how true it is, but it makes sense in my head, so I just thought I'd share it with you guys. That was good. good time. Now, this is something that I've learned from Blogilates, Miss Cassie Ho, because she's awesome, and I watch like all of her videos, and she's so cool. So shout out to you, Cassie. Um, but fat is not only excreted out of your body by. Um, using the bathroom or anything like that. Actually, it is taken out of your body by breath, too. So you're like breathing out that breath. And I just thought, I and mean, she thought it was the coolest thing, too, on her video if you looked that one up. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, 
So that's, that's another little just fun fact. It's not really going to help you with anything, but it's kind of cool to know. I mean, how, did you really know that? How does how do people figure this shit out? Like, how, how did somebody say, I'm going to check your breath because I want to see if any of your fat is being taken out of your body that way. I just want to know who figured that one out. That's kind of a strange thing to me researching, but then again, I'm not a scientist, so I guess I don't really know what they do. In um, all of my research, I have found one thing that's pretty constant. Um, when you are trying to lose weight, or as I like to say, just getting healthier, most of doing that is not exercise. Most of it is diet, and that's one thing that's been fairly constant. Um, you can exercise all you want. You can do cardio for three or four hours, or you know this or that or the other, but at the end of the day, if after you're doing that, you go and eat a whole cheese pizza by yourself, you're just getting all that back. So most of weight loss is actually your diet. You need to eat healthier. And I'm not saying, you know, starve yourself by any means. Actually, I'm going to put it down below too. But um, there's a video on what 200 calories looks like. And you don't have to starve yourself. You can still eat a lot of food and be very full if you just make healthier choices. And if you guys watch that video, it'll make a whole lot of sense to you. And um, make it a lot easier for you to realize that you do not have to starve yourself in the process of trying to lose weight. So I'll put that, you know, down below for you. So remember when you were younger and your mom used to tell you to eat your vegetables first? Um, this is actually somewhat helpful and true because if you eat a small, just a little itty bitty salad before every meal, not only are you getting those nutrients in you first before you eat the other stuff and get full and don't want to eat it anymore, but you are actually like filling your stomach before you eat so you don't eat as much. And that's just, you know, a fun little little fact there. And even you can even make salads, you know, full meals if you want to. It just you it depends on you as a person what you like. So I would say, this is what I've been doing, just get a small bowl and eat a small salad before you eat your main dish. And it really does work. It fills you up just a little bit before you eat. So you don't overeat and eat as much. And you know, you also get that nutrition in there on top of that. So there's, there's that. So like I said in the beginning here, everybody is different. And that is where it becomes hard to give people advice. Um, because every person, and some of the stuff that I found online and started doing didn't work for me at all. So just keep in mind, not everything works for everybody. But if you are doing everything correctly, you know, you're working out the correct way, you're doing the eating healthy and this and that and the other, there's an imbalance somewhere. Now, this balance could be hormones, which is very possible. Um, you know, what, what does birth control do? Let's think about this. It affects your hormones. So if you're having trouble losing weight, that might be one way to go. Um, Another way is stress. Stress actually makes you retain weight. Did you know that? Um, because back in, and I also learned this from Cassie Ho too, so she's just awesome and smart and fantastic and helpful, and I love her. Um, but back in the day, you know, you had, when you were surviving in the caveman days, you had these when you would get stressed or whatever you would call it, you had these fight or flight hormones. So you would either fight or flee for your life, one of the two. And after all this happens, I can't remember exactly what the hormones are. I know there's cortisol in there somewhere, cortisone or something. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Um, but anyways, um, after you're done doing all that, your body is telling you to eat. Um... So back in those days, you were literally, you know, running or fighting for your life and you were burning off that energy. So now in this day and age, that same feeling comes from stress. So even if you're just sitting here in front of your computer studying for a test, you get that stress feeling and then you want to eat. It's stress eating. Um, so it makes it really hard to lose weight. So if you are having issues, test your stress level. 
take a bubble bath, get a massage, just de-stress yourself however you can and I almost guarantee that's your bottom line. Like I said, it could be something like a hormone imbalance, very possible because everyone's just on a bunch of drugs nowadays, so you know that's there too, but de-stress yourself because that's going to help you whether that's the reason or not. You are going to feel so much better. And one thing has stuck with me throughout my whole um, getting healthy ordeal is um, actually a quote from Legally Blonde. Um, when the first one, when she's the lawyer to the workout lady who's on trial for killing her husband, she says, I know you didn't do it. And the lady says, well, how do you know? She said, well, because you exercise, and exercising releases endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't kill their husbands. So that's kind of stuck with me through this whole thing. Every time Wyatt will, like, irritate me, I'm just thinking, okay, I need to go exercise so I can get some endorphins and not kill him. <laughs> not that I would ever, that was a joke. I would never really do that. But, you know, it, it, it really does help. It makes you happier. It makes you feel better. So whatever you need to do to de-stress yourself and to get you feeling better in any way, shape, or form, it is going to benefit you. So bubble baths, massages, time alone, read a book, whatever. Whatever works for you. Do it. So a lot of people are going to argue that things like walking don't um, burn enough calories to lose weight or aren't real exercise or something like that. And that is true to an extent. Um, the calories you burn and the amount of exercise you get is actually based off your heart rate. So the faster you walk or the more brisk you walk and the longer you do it to keep your heart rate up longer is the more calories you're going to burn. So if you're just kind of teetering around leisurely walking, yeah, you're not going to lose anything. You're not getting your heart rate up. You're not working. Um, so there's that for you. My phone's ringing. I gotta answer that. So here is something I didn't know before I started doing all my research. I was always thinking fruits are just so healthy for you. And they are. They, they are extremely good for you. Don't get me wrong. But um, I always thought, okay, if you're eating your fruits and vegetables, you are just healthy, 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 healthy. And this is actually not the case because fruits have so much natural sugar that if you eat them too late in the day, your body can't process that sugar like it should and it stays there. So if you're going to eat fruits or sugars of any kind, really eat them earlier on in the day so your body has time to digest those and burn them up before they set somewhere they don't need to be set in. Um, this goes to, I don't remember which person I heard this from, but eat for what you're doing. So later at night when you're having dinner, you're obviously getting ready to calm down and go to bed. Don't eat a big protein filled meal with sugar and this and that and the other because you're not going to burn it off. You're not going to do that. So eat the bigger meals and the sugary stuff earlier in the day so your body has time to work it off and digest it. Um, again, Cassie Ho, imagine this, um, 2 o'clock, deadline. That's what she says. That's what I'm going by. It seems to be working um, that way. And I'm sleeping a lot better because of this too, I've realized. So I think I was eating sugar way too late in the day because I was a really restless sleeper. And now that I've cut off sugars at about 2 o'clock, sometimes I splurge till about 3, but then I go home and do a really big workout. So, you know, burn it off. Um, but I've noticed I'm sleeping a lot better probably because of that. So keep that in mind too. Last one for now, I swear. I'm not going to go too crazy and seem like a health nut and all that other crap. I'm just trying to help you. Um, but the best way to lose weight is to not pick one or the other of cardio and strength training. Both of them together are the best combination. Cardio is great because it gets your heart rate up. And what did I say about heart rate? The higher your heart rate, the more calories you're burning and the better off you are. However, once you're done with cardio, that stops. It doesn't continue to keep burning calories as much. The more muscle you have, the higher metabolism you have. So you need to do strength training as well to build that muscle. Because what that does is, for those of you who don't know what metabolism is, it's how fast you burn things off. 
So the more muscle you have, the higher metabolism that you have. So you're burning more calories throughout the day doing nothing. So that's what you want. Not only do you want to burn those buttload of calories when you're doing your cardio work, but you want to continue to keep burning more and more throughout the day. So doing both of those is the absolute best way to be losing weight. And I know it's hard, um, but I'm, and by strength training, you don't even have to do lifting weights and stuff like that. You can use your body as a weight. Casey Hill taught me that as well. Seriously, if you have never looked her up, look her up because she is just awesome. And I will tag her down below so you can see all of her amazing videos because she's just in, she's inspired me so much. And I'm just so grateful to have found her. So there's that. All right, guys, I'm not going to keep jibber jabbing because obviously I am nowhere near where I am really meaning to be, but I'm getting there, and I just figured while I'm finding them, I might as well share some tips with you. So here they are. Um, also, I believe you guys can see it. I have made a workout videos playlist. Um, so if you guys are interested in what kind of workouts you're doing or looking for something just to get you started, those are on my page as well. Um... Like I said, I will tag everybody I mentioned in this because they're so fantastic and so helpful. Um, be sure to subscribe for more fun videos and more interesting, you know, whatever I decide to come out with. Let's be real, I'm never the same two days in a row. Um, <laughs> but also, be sure to check out my blog. I post more fun stuff on there as well. It is bug43.blogspot.com. Also, make sure to look me up on Twitter and Instagram. I put plenty of stuff on there, too. So... Hope this helps you guys out. Keep checking in for more, and I will see you later.